Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Life Science with KMD. Today, I am going to explain about synthetic construction of vectors. Now, what are the requirement of vectors? It, uh, it requires a origin of replication, bacterial selectable marker, gene construction of uh, interest, tDNA border and other uh, agrobacterium gene if using uh, agrobacterium. Compatibility with the helper plasmid if using agrobacterium. TI plasmid of agrobacterium shows the origin of replication. The region encode the virulence gene which is also represented as vir gene and uh, transfer DNA which is represented as tDNA. The tDNA is flanked by 25 base pair direct repeat known as left and right border. Uh, the WIR gene are required for tDNA processing and transfer to the plant cell. The tDNA is uh, stable, is stably integrated into the nucleus of the genome of the plant cell. The gene encoded within it necessary for biosynthesis of plant hormone plant growth hormones like cytokines and auxin result in formation of characteristic uh, tumor growth associated with crown gall disease. The tDNA also encode opines that is nopaline or octopine that provide agrobacterium with an exclusion, exclusive uh, nitrogen source. This provide agrobacterium carrying the TI plasmid with a competitive advantage over agrobacterium that do not. Commonly used bacterial selectable marker genes. Uh, antibiotics, there will be like uh, these are the antibiotics, these are the antibiotic resistant genes, genes uh, and the source of the organism. Now, uh, streptomycin or spectinomycin antibiotic resistant gene is um, aminoglycoside adenyl transferase gene uh, and the gene can be represented as uh, AADA the source of the organism is E. coli whereas in case of kenamycin antibiotic resistant gene is neomycin phosphotransferase gene it can be represented as NPTLL NPT um, I, I or Neo and uh, the source of the organism is E. coli TN5 chloromphenicol chloromphenicol uh, acetyl transferase gene the gene is uh, represented as cat uh, the source of organism is E. coli TN5 amphicillin beta uh, lactomas BAL or BLA and the source of organism is E. coli TN3, tetracycline, tetracycline or H plus antiport. It is represented as the gene is represented as uh, TED and uh, E. coli TN10. Typical component of uh, transformation vector making a construct is selectable marker casket with promoter and terminator, gene of interest casket with promoter and terminator even the scorable marker casket with the promoter and terminator a generic plant binary vector with two origin of uh, replication one is the pvs1 origin for propagation in agrobacterium and call e1 origin or call e1 origin for propagation of uh, Escherichia coli the backbone of the vector contain antibiotic resistance gene for bacterial selection and uh, which is a uh, kenamycin and the T plasmid or tDNA contain a plant selectable marker and gene of interest. Some vectors require a blunt end. So to create blunt end in the sticky ends of the vector we use clinofragment which provide a uh, clinofragment uh, restriction enzonuclease which provide blunt end on the sticky ends of the vector through ligation with we can able to uh, stick the 
vector. Now the problem with conventioning cloning, the inconvenient restriction site, vector construction is laborious, time consuming reaction. Now how to generate a gutless adenovirus? For that we require helper adenovirus genome and a gutless adenovirus genome. Now this helper adenovirus genome consists of an inverted terminal repeat on both the site and a cis terminal repeat as well as log species sequence along with it it consists of an adenovirus genome whereas the gutless adenovirus genome consists of a inverted terminal repeat on both the sites cis uh, terminal repeat and a human stuffed DNA that means the gene of our interest. Now these two genomes are co-transfected into the uh, Cree 293 cell line. Once they, once they enter inside the host cell, both will start to amplify its genome where the gutless adenovirus consists of a gene of our interest but it doesn't have a gene for the synthesis of protein viral protein codes. So what happens? It will multiply its DNA but it will take the viral protein from helper adenovirus genome. This adeno, helper adenovirus will provide the viral protein. <clears throat> so this helper adenovirus consists of a cry recombinase which will bind to the Lox P sequence in the genome and it will cut the DNA. So only the viral protein can be synthesized. The uh, DNA amplification of the helper adenovirus will be restricted through this process. So this gutless adeno genome will package its DNA into the viral protein of helper adenovirus uh, gene uh, produced from the helper adenovirus and start producing gutless adenovirus. Only there will be if there is a contamination if, if at all the uh, helper adenovirus able to um, able to uh, put its DNA inside the viral protein it is like a contamination it will be up to only 1.1 to 10 percent only but the 90 to 99.9 percent .9 purity of the gutless vector can be synthesized through this process. Advantages of adenovirus. Adenovirus can infect dividing as well as quiescent cell with equally high efficiency. Adenovirus is uh, ubiquitous. It has been isolated from large number of different species with over uh, 100 known stereotypes. Can rapidly infect large uh, range of human cells. Low pathogenicity in, the, mm, in humans. Can hold large segment of DNA. Genome does not undergo rearrangement at high rate. DNA is high, easily manipulate with current recombinant DNA techniques. And the genome of uh, retrovirus consists of a long terminal repeat, gag gene, pol gene, ENV gene and uh, again uh, terminal that is a long terminal repeat is present. Now the pol gene encode for reverse transcriptase, protease, integrase and ribonuclease whereas the gag gene code for capsid monomer like uh, CA, EMA and uh, ENC proteins whereas uh, ENV or N, uh, NV gene code for envelop uh, glycoproteins like uh, TM and SU. Construction of replication defective retrovirus. Retroviral vector are derived from a wild type of retrovirus and are engineered to carry a foreign gene of interest into the target cell. The retrovirus are composed of gene of interest and cis acting element of the viral genome. With the removal of transacting viral gene like GAG, POL and NV gene, we can construct the retroviral vector. 
see in this picture the transacting viral genes are removed to add the gene of interest so this retro this act as a retroviral vector the retroviral vector can be used for gene therapy in case of gene therapy replacing a mutated gene that caused the disease with a healthy copy of gene can be done or inactivation or knocking out a mutated gene that is functioning improperly even that can be done or it can be uh, the introduction or introducing a new gene into the body to help fight a disease so these type of process can be done in gene therapy so retrovirus can be used for gene therapy purpose by removing the uh, viral protein coating uh, genes we can use the retrovirus for gene therapy the buccalo virus system expression system now the genome of the buccalo virus generally preclude the cloning of target gene directly into it so therefore to express the foreign gene in buccalo virus the gene of the interest is cloned in the place of viral coat protein gene in the plasmid called as a transfer vector carry a small part of viral genome the recombinant plasmid is co-transfected into the insect cell with a wild type buccalo virus dna at low frequency the plasmid and the uh, the plasmid and the viral dna recombines through homologous sequencing resulting in the insertion of the foreign gene now this transfer vector consists of a lag z and a target uh, uh, gene that is the gene of our interest whereas the buccalo virus genome consists of a restriction enzyme site and a polyhedrin gene uh, polyhedrin gene site now once it enter into the insect cell line along with the uh, plasmid uh, transfer vector what happens is that the recombination takes place through which the first the re restriction enzyme present uh, restriction enzyme site present in the buccalo virus genome will express its uh, enzyme and cut off the polyhedrin gene after that the recombination will takes place where the lag z and target gene um, that means the gene of our interest will be homologous uh, recombination will takes place through which it will be inserted into the viral genome so this lag z the inclusion of lag z in the transfer vector allow the visual identification of the recombinant plaque by their blue appearance after staining with lag z since the recombinant virus consists of a lag z gene Uh, the inclusion of lag z in the transfer vector allow the visual identification of the recombinant plaque by their blue appearance in the by their blue appearance after staining with exgol the viral plaque develop and the plaque containing recombinant virus took uh, i mean uh, look different because they lack coat protein the plaque with recombinant virus are picked and expanded the virus stock is then used to infect the fresh culture of insect cells resulting in high expression of foreign protein advantages the polyhedron gene is not required for the continuous production of infectious uh, virus in the insect cell line it uh, sub, uh, its uh, sequence is replaced with that of the heterologous gene the polyhedrin gene promoter is very strong this determines the very high level of production of recombinant protein very late expression allow for the production of very toxic protein this system is capable of post translation modification cloning platforms uh, they are restriction enzyme and ligase uh, method or it could be pcr based method gateway and site specific recombination method golden gate methods in case of restriction enzyme ligation method 
the enzyme which are used to cut the vectors the same enzyme will be used to cut the gene of our interest after uh, using the after creating a cut in both vector and the gene of interest the gene of interest will be inserted into the plasmid with the help of a dna and ligase which helps in joining this vector into the vector um, this uh, gene of interest into the vector now this is the table of uh, restriction enzymes list of uh, table restriction enzymes which are used in the uh, restriction enzyme ligase method to create a cloning so in case of a pcr cloning method what happens is that the through which we amplify the dna fragment if we are using a tag dna polymerase uh, the pcr product will consist of a adenosine nucleotide at the 3 prime end whereas uh, in case of um, q5 high fidelity dna polymerase the product will have a blunt end the gene of our interest will be inserted into the vector with the help of an enzyme dna ligase and an effect r enzyme like topo isomerase 1 was used here in this process to unwind uh, whereas uh, whenever the transformant was confirmed if the vector contain a toxic gene and whenever we insert the gene of our interest then the amplified dna insert will inhibit the gene expression of the toxic gene so this uh, gene expression will confirm the transformants whereas the non transformant will be considered as a suicide vector because the toxic gene will be expressed in that so in this way pcr based cloning will be done in case of site specific integration is achieved by two homologous recombination event one on either side of the dna fragment to be integrated during insertion the target region of the vector replace the targeted region of plasmid genome and uh, the vector backbone is lost the inserted dna fragment contains selectable marker that is aada gene encoding amino glycoxide 3 prime adenyl transferase providing the streptomycin resistance and can contain either a single gene flanked by independent 5 prime 3 prime uh, regulatory region including a promoter a uh, 5 prime utr and uh, 3 prime utr or as in case here multiple gene with single promoter that regulate the expression of the operon with individual ribosome binding site upstream of each um, um, open reading frame in this example is bacillus thuringiensis with cry 2 aa gene operon is inserted in the plastid genome generating insecticidal protein in the plant cell in uh, 16s ribosomal rna promoter drives the expression of the aa da gene and the 3 gene of cry 2 a a2 operon the terminator is the psba3 prime region of a gene encoding the photosystem 2 reaction center component of tobacco chloroplast genome next is gateway cloning the cloning itself like other method allow for functional analysis of gene protein expression and cloning or subcloning of dna fragment the ease of gateway method is provided by at recombination site at means um, attachment site for bacteria means if it is at b means attachment site for bacteria if it is at p means attachment site for uh, phage so the ease of gateway method is provided by at recombination site used in combi in combination with the enzyme clonase mixture this method is extremely fast and uh, about 90 percent is effective finally the gateway cloning method is totally universal that is all type of dna fragment may be cloned 
whether that be PCR fragment or uh, cDNA or genomic DNA. Gateway is always available for several organism from mammals and insect to E. coli. The practical procedure is that the expression clone which is formed actually contain a segment of um, L and R site. The new site which is formed is the B site which is an expression clone and a P site which is a product of reaction. This reaction is quite simple to conduct. The L reaction, LR uh, reaction involve your entire clone and destination vector and a LR mix, uh, LR clonase mix. Incubate it for 12, 1 hour and you are done. All that uh, you need to be done is transform the clone into E. coli cell and place them in the medium. Here again the gateway method make things easy by giving an extremely high yield of correct clone on the medium. This is um, base, this is because the vector used in the recombination process include antibiotic resistance and clever gene called um, clever gene called CCDB. Clever gene called CCDB. Next is golden gate method. Here the multiple DNA fragment can be inserted into the vector with the help of a type 2S endonuclease which cleaves at um, non-palindromic sequence or away from the no, uh, palindromic sequence. So uh, that's how golden gateway, this is the golden gateway assembly uh, workflow. Here the destination vector is designed to consist of BSA-1 recognition site to allow the insertion of the DNA of our interest. So the DNA of our interest will be amplified through PCR in which the BSA, B, BSI-1 fragment will be present. Now these um, fragment that is uh, DNA of interest A and B will be inserted into the destination vector with the help of an enzyme T4D ligase. So the correct assembly fragment no longer contain BSA1 site while A and B insert sequence involved four base overlap are shown in separate color for clarity. The actual assembly is seamless. Now why do we need so many types of vector? It's mainly because functional analysis of open reading frame, overexpression and knockdown of uh, our, uh, RNAi of specific gene, multigenic uh, genic trait for crop improvement, analysis of expression level and specificity, inducibility of promoter. In case of gene silencing, the RNA interference pathway will be seen. Here the double-stranded RNA uh, will be bound with a dicer which starts to cleave the double-stranded uh, RNA into smaller pieces. Now this uh, piece, small pieces of a double-stranded RNA is called siRNA uh, which is along with the protein complex that is risk factor will come and bind to this uh, siRNA and uh, this risk factor will unwind this double stranded RNA and uh, the sense strand will be degraded. Then later the single stranded target mRNA will be uh, degraded by the activated risk factor. This uh, will start to cleave the RNA into smaller fragment. So in this way gene silencing will be done. Plant gene expression vector for conventional cloning uses restriction, digestion and ligation. The gateway recombination cloning, the first vector shown in A and B are designed to allow gene to be ectopically expressed in plant cell. The second vector show for um, green fluorescent protein uh, gene, the vector are designed to affect protein fusion with green fluorescent protein to help identify the subcellular target of a protein under investigation. 
ideally three vectors for each type are frequently made one for each reading frame to ensure that a perfect fusion between a gene of our interest and the marker gene is made the insert dna must be in open reading frame configuration so that no stop codon is present between the gene of our interest and marker genes gene silencing in plant can achieve through um, using inverted repeat transgene construction that encode hairpin um, rna using gateway cloning technology the production of such inverted repeat transgenic construct can be achieved effect efficiently since dna fragment orientation during the excision integration process is maintained and the gateway recombination cascade are arranged in opposite orientation with respect to each other multi gateway allow several dna fragment to be cloned within a single vector construct more recent advance in the design of few at recombinant recombination site have permitted the assembly of up to 5 dna fragment um, 5 dna molecule within a single vector construct but none have been designed as at for plant transformation now the vector derived from plant sequence has to be like public acceptance of um, genetically modified organism linked to concern of origin of dna employed ironically wild type plant cells already contain bacterial derived genome the tdna could be replaced with pdna replace viral promoter with a protein uh, with a plant promoter thanks for watching my video please subscribe to my channel by clicking on subscription button subscription doesn't cost you any money to get a notification click on a bell icon do like and share this video with friends and family if you have any kind of feedback do share it on a comment box thank you